I wasn't ready to let go of alcohol. If you relate to that in all caps, right? I wasn't ready to let go of alcohol. I wasn't ready to let go of the associations. I wasn't ready to, now it wasn't just letting go of alcohol, but it was like all of the associations, but it was like, well, but what did I do with alcohol? It was like, it was almost like saying, I'm, well, I'm not, I'm not ready to let go of my left leg. What do you mean? I, I've, I've gone everywhere with my left leg. It was almost as serious as losing an appendage to me. That's kind of how it felt like, because it was like, it was like losing a companion. It was like losing, it was like losing my closest friend because even though, like, even if your friend wasn't there with you or whoever you were dating might not have been there with you at the time, if you wanted to go out, who was always there, alcohol was always there, right? If you had some social anxiety to go out, well, don't worry, your old friend alcohol is gonna be there. And guess what? We're going together. And wherever, and whenever that's over, guess what? We're going somewhere else together. And guess who's gonna be there? More alcohol, <laughs> we hope, right? And that was kind of how it was for me. Oh, let me take the, uh, let me take the poll off the screen. All right, so the number one answer to the, to the poll question, which is anonymous, by the way, of what is your biggest hurdle to sobriety was boredom, 40%. Boredom and 36% uh, was emotions. This has been a clip from our sober live stream and live chats hosted for two hours every Friday and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern right here only on YouTube.